If you've been following cloth and paper in any capacity at all, then nine times out of 10, I'm pretty sure you're just as excited about this subscription box as I am. Like when I saw the sneak peeks for this subscription box and especially the dust bag, I was like, I need it, gotta have it. I finally have it, super excited about it and I'm so ready to get into it. But before we get into all of that, if this is your first time seeing any of my videos, my name is Brian. I am a photographer living in Raleigh, North Carolina and I'm just here documenting my journey of creating a life worth living, whether that be mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally. And a large portion of that is being active and intentional with my planning, writing down all of my to-do lists, all of my goals and being intentional about moving forward with accomplishing them. So if you like the sound of that, then you know what to do but if this is not your first time around here hey my friend welcome back scroll on down to the comment section drop a comment let me know how you're doing because if you know you know i care let's have a conversation down in the comment section below as you can see i'm wasting nary a second to get into this box and the first thing i see is that quilted dust bag and it looks so good of course the box says there's luxury and simplicity y'all know the vibes it's if you've seen a cloth and paper unboxing before if you had a subscription box delivered to you i'm not gonna go into all of that you you already know the package in this top tier but I am really excited about this quilted um, dust bag just because I literally feel like every subscription box that's been released this year was made specifically with me in mind, especially that February box. But I don't know if you remember back in December when I made my 2024 planner setup, I was telling you all how I plan on using a neutral color theme for my planner this year. And so like seeing this dust bag and this olive color, I was like, yeah absolutely need that to add to planner essentials um and especially since i don't have a um a folio for my planner yet i've been using the dust bag to carry my planner so i'm gonna save the dust bag for last let's go ahead and just get into the box contents there's so much included in these subscription boxes it's just hard to figure out where to start i guess i'll start with the cards and then work my way out from there i feel like everything in this box was kind of made to work together and so i guess i'll group those like items does that make sense i don't know i feel like i can't speak today it's only tuesday wow so april is the first month that cloth and paper is switching things up with their subscription box before they had their regular subscription box and a pen and stationary uh, add-on subscription they're grouping it all together in what they're calling their intentions box and i actually like the move now some people don't some people do but drop a comment let me know i'm really excited about the intentions box moving forward so first up is the what's inside card just includes an overview of everything that's in the box and then on the back of the card, it gives a detailed look at everything that's inside. So it has the Rule of Thirds dashboard, the time block pad, the quilted nylon dust bag, the priority sticker set, the pin set, the undated acrylic calendar, planning in three sticky note set, the page clip set, the reflection um, journal prompt, and all of the additional cards um, that includes the pop-up card and the members access card. Whew, I feel like that was a lot. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I love getting the member's access card. I swear I feel like so exclusive when I get it. So I don't know. The, the member's access card every month is, is one of my favorite things in the box. It just makes me feel like a VIP. So I love that. Then there's the, the June pop-up calendar. I never use this and primarily because I can never figure out a use for it. Drop a comment. Let me know how you use yours because I have been wanting to use mine a little bit more, but I, again, I just can never really figure out how i guess my creative wheels aren't turning when it comes to the pop-up calendars all right so next up is the monthly reflection card and i've been loving these so much i just like the design of it and even though i don't use mine at all really i'm gonna start using it whenever i do my monthly letters to myself if you've seen any of my plan with me videos you know at the very end i'll do a letter to myself for the current month all of these reflection cards has a prompt on them. And so maybe I can start using those in those letters to myself. I like it. It's a reflection card. It's just kind of like a double play on the, the word, but it also has that reflective surface. It's kind of like a mirror. So I don't know. I, I, I like this card, <laughs> but again, I don't really use mine a lot. So I might start using it in that way. All right. So next up is the page clip set. I'm really excited about these. They come in a set of three and they're in this olive color. And y'all already know, olive neutrals. Loving that for my planet this year. <laughs> but um, I saw that cloth and paper 
posted an Instagram reel showing how you can write on these and you can use them as page tabs. And so I thought it'd be really good to use this in the social media section of my planner just because I don't have any tabs in that section to be able to easily assess my monthly social media calendar. And so I was like, I'm definitely using these. They're metal. They feel super high quality. And just look at the way they'll like lay on the page and just allow you to be able to use it as a tab and again you can write on that section as well so i thought it was super dope to be able to use that and i can use it for a couple of different tabs throughout my planner so i'm really excited about this set no but for real i'm really excited about this next item it's one of those things that i never knew i needed until i saw it <laughs> And when I saw cloth and paper post um, an Instagram reel with this um, a couple of weeks back, I was like, yo, I didn't know I needed an acrylic calendar, but I absolutely do. And I have no idea how I'm going to use it, what things I'm going to put on it. <laughs> but um, I saw it, I had to have it. And I was like, yeah, it just further solidified the reason I'm getting the april subscription box is pretty thick it has two holes so i believe you can even mount it on a wall as well i'll probably use it and stand on my desk and maybe put my um photography sessions up there or any meetings i have with my clients but you can easily write on this and so some of the pins that come included in the subscription box you can use um to actually write on this calendar but they also included this sticky note set and it pairs perfectly with this calendar. Um, this is the Planning in 3 sticky note set. I like the color palette. Again, the neutrals, I might say this a hundred times this video, but the neutrals is what sells me. Um, the color palette includes a pink blush, which that looks more brown than pink blush. So I love that. Um, a lush green and a touch of ivory. Now, I like unique sticky notes. Like I love a unique sticky situation <laughs> just because i love using the sticky notes in my planning but when i saw this and saw how perfectly it paired with the calendar i was like i'm gonna need for cloth and paper to release more of these sets of sticky notes especially the smaller ones because i want to be able to use the smaller sticky notes paired with this calendar for quite some time but again i do want some additional colors but the smaller um, sticky notes fit perfectly in each dated section or each daily section of the planner i hope i'm saying that right i cannot speak today i'm sorry y'all <laughs> but it fits perfectly in each of the little squares so you can write down any meetings or anything and i use page flags whenever i'm planning out my monthly schedule anyway just for like any photography sessions or any appointments or anything that could be potentially rescheduled i love to just write it on a sticky note or a page flag and just be able to move it around if need be so i'm not actually having to write physically on my calendar so i really like that um these sticky notes for this reason paired with this calendar so i'm really excited to use this this coming month and um y'all will probably see me use it a bit more in my weekly vlogs here on out so anyway um there are a couple of pins that come included with the subscription box as well and again you can use these pins to write directly on the acrylic calendar here now i will say i probably won't hold on to these pins this month because i don't know what it is but i'm just not a fan of blue ink at all period now i might hold on to the posca marker which is um, a paint marker here just because i can use it to write on this calendar um i have a white one so i'll probably use that a little bit more so i'll probably hold on to that but the other is a pro marker is dual tip so it has a fine tip in and a, a bold tip in um and it's in royal blue i'll probably give that to my cousin um uh, just because i know blue is his favorite color but like i'm not a fan <laughs> of the the um blue ink all right so next up is the rule of thirds dashboard and first things first i'm loving the black and white imagery cloth and paper is using this year it just looks so good so minimal so sleek i'm loving it a lot but i'm really excited about all of the dashboards i've been getting in my subscription box over the past couple of months because we are approaching the half year mark um and so i don't know if you guys remember from my 2024 planner setup video i was telling you how i only carry six months worth of insert in my planners 
And so I wanted to keep my planner bound because I use my planner right now as a planner and journal. I have photos in here. So I just want to be able to hold on to my planners. And so I'll be starting completely fresh at the very end of May. I'll be doing a second half of 2024 planner setup at that point. So I'm really excited about using these dashboards and the rule of thirds dashboard is one of the ones that I'm absolutely going to be using. I feel like the Trident method, which this dashboard highlights, will pair really well with the planning that I'm already doing. I use the top three priority method with planning. And so incorporating the, the Trident method, I feel like would, would work well with the system I already have going on. So I'm really excited about this insert. All right, so next up is the time block pad, and this is 11 by 8.3 um, inches. Um, so almost a full sheet of paper size. I'm really excited about this. I don't do time blocking right now, but I'm wanting to, to get into time blocking a little bit more, especially because I've been so intentional about trying to build a routine. I'm really trying to figure out how to create a routine for myself. Like I need a morning routine, midday work routine. I'm working full time for myself right now. And so I'm really needing to establish those things. And it's just been so hard for me. So hopefully with using this time block pad, I can start mapping out something that works for me and y'all this pad is pretty thick i wonder if this is a year worth of um, pages here because one page is a whole week and it's it's pretty thick so um if it's not and if, if this works out for me i'm going to be using it a lot more but um included in this the subscription box this month they also included these priority stickers um and they pair perfectly with this um time block pad there's a couple of different ways that you can use these stickers that I peeped on the cloth and paper Instagram. So check out their reels to get some ideas. But these come in high, medium, and low priority for each color in the pack. And they come in olive, saddle, beignet, and matcha. And even though these are created to allow you to be able to indicate um, what level priority task, you can also use these stickers to block off periods of time, whether it be an hour, two hours, or three hours on the time block pad. So I plan on using it that way and I'll probably order some more of these, especially if time blocking becomes something that becomes a regular part of my, my planning. But uh, I'm really excited about these and I love that matcha color, it's definitely my favorite. Okay, and saving the best for last, I said I was circling around back to this, but I'm so excited about this dust bag, y'all. Like, I actually might order another one just because I feel like I just need two. <laughs> and I have been telling you for months, I don't have a folio for my planner. And so I've been using my dust bags that I've been getting, especially like the V and leather ones to carry my planner. But the thing or the issue that I'm running into with carrying my planner in the vegan dust bags is because I have a crystal clear cover on it and the inside edges of the crystal clear cover are sharper. I found that they were starting to rip the internal lining of my vegan leather bags. So I've just been sticking to using one of those vegan bags. But with getting this bag and because it fits the planner perfectly with extra room, I feel like I won't have that issue where it was a snug fit in those vegan leather bags and just even having the ability to not only carry my planner but also carry my ipad and i have a bigger ipad it's the 2019 um 10.2 inch version that fits perfectly in here with my planner and also my pencil pouch and i still have plenty of room in in this bag 10 out of 10 would absolutely recommend i'm really excited to see what other dust bags cloth and paper released this year because they mentioned that the first three months they had the vegan leather bags and then each month after they be doing something different so i don't plan on subscribing to the may intentions box just because i've been getting these boxes consecutively um every month and so i need to give my wallet a little bit of a break but depending on what the dust bag is for may i'll absolutely be getting it but anyway that is my april 2024 cloth and paper subscription intentions box <laughs> um i'm really excited about everything i'm really excited to start using a lot of this stuff in my day-to-day -day planning moving forward and i will be showing you guys over the course of the month how i'm going to be using this stuff and just like my daily weekly planning and my weekly vlog so so if you're interested in any of that then make sure you subscribe 
Go ahead and click the bell icon. That way you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Check out the description box. There you'll find links to all of my social media. You can follow me everywhere that I am. And I do follow back. But um, if you like this video, I'm pretty sure you have a friend that you know would like it as well. So tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Um, and that way we can all be friends together. <laughs> Sharing is caring, my friend. But anyway, you guys, I've held you long enough. I'm not going to talk your head off. I'm going to go ahead and get off this. But um, until next time, I'm out. Bye, y'all.